the brain is the ultimate electrical uh, organ in, in our body. All that it does, it communicates through electrical impulses. Transcranial direct current stimulation is a non-invasive near stimulation uh, treatment that uses direct current that passes through two electrodes and uh, TDCS passes such a small current that we only need to use two AA batteries to pass that current. And we pass current for anywhere from five minutes to 20 minutes. It's feeling a tingling sensation where the, the electrodes are strange at first, but then I got used to it, so then I didn't feel it anymore. Our current understanding of some of the circuit mechanisms underlying symptoms of depression involve the left uh, side of the brain being less active, whereas at the level of circuits, the right side seems to, the opposite, seems to be the opposite, is hyperactive. That hyperactivity on the right side seems to be linked to this uh, symptom, to this feature in depression, which is negative rumination. So when you're struggling with depression, uh, you tend to have a lot of negative thoughts that play over and over in your mind that it's very difficult to, to put to the side. Transcranial direct current stimulation tries to, at the same time, balance those things out in your brain by trying to bring up the activity on your left side and bringing down the activity on the right side. And what we want to do specifically is to combine transcranial direct current stimulation with yoga, as well as uh, mindfulness. Before I started doing yoga, I was um, very, men I had a very um, scattered mind in a sense. Um, I was all over the place, I could not concentrate. I was not balanced, um, I got distracted very easily. Um, what yoga helped me find was my balance, uh, strength. It centered me, it calmed my mind so that um, I'm actually so much more productive, so much more present in my daily life. In this study, even though we are asking healthy volunteers to participate, what we want to see is whether that combined intervention has an effect on brain activity. And if data shows that that's the case, that is to be translated to people who struggle with depression. So if we can design an intervention that is able to tackle those difficulties and put the brain in a stage where people is able to be more present in the moment and put aside those negative thoughts it is going to have a really strong clinical impact on people with depression.